Hey everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip 45 Drive. So it's been a couple weeks, but we're going to close off our three-part series we started a little bit ago about um, uh, moving from a FreeNAS system to a Houston system. Um, and in this case, Ubuntu and Houston. Um, remember part one, I talked about uh, the monitoring stack, so how alerts work and how that all gets installed and configured. Two, we talked about uh, ZFS send and receive and automated snapshots and replication with a tool called ZapSend. Um, I've gotten really good at saying that, I've been practicing. And um, today we're gonna close it all off. So this is for you, Mr. Brian Polak, who initially asked the question back in one of our first Houston videos of how would you move from FreeNAS to, to Houston with your automated snaps and replication and importing an existing Z pool and all that. How do you do that? Well, today we're gonna tie all that together and we're going to switch from FreeNAS to Ubuntu. So a uh, quick little run through of what we're gonna do. I have a Q30 in my lab. I've got FreeNAS installed on one of the disks and I have Ubuntu with Houston on one of the other disks, uh, one of the boot disks. I have a storage pool made in FreeNAS. I've got a bunch of snapshots made on it already and um, we're going to start in FreeNAS, switch over to Ubuntu and um, well, I'm not gonna give any of the secrets away. Let's get into it and we'll, uh, we'll dive into fun stuff. All right, so we're starting here in uh, our FreeNAS UI, and we're taking a look at the storage uh, pools. So we have one called Tank, and I have a data set called Main. Um, we'll hop open to Snapshots. Actually, I'll take a look at Tasks here, and we can see periodic snapshot tasks. I've been uh, taking a snap every five minutes and keeping for two weeks. Uh, that's a little excessive for now, but the whole point is I have a lot of snapshots on my pool that I want to move over to the other side. Um, yeah, so this part's pretty simple. We're gonna get out of FreeNAS. So step one, you're gonna want to export your zpool. And the reason we're gonna do this is, I just gotta figure out where the button is, here we go. Export slash disconnect. So uh, we do not wanna delete configurations of shares. We just wanna confirm the export and disconnect. So FreeNAS kind of makes this seem a little scarier than it is. Um, it's not gonna delete your pool. It literally is just unmounting it from the system. But be careful that you only have confirm export disconnect checked. Do not check destroy data on this pool. That's a given. What we're doing here is we're telling this Z pool, no one's using you anymore. Just kind of unmount yourself. So when we hop open to the other system, it'll just import no problem. If you do skip this step on a, for every reason you forget or whatever, you've already started this process and you're here for the last part of the video, not, uh, not the end of the world. You just have to use the force command and well, It'd be nice if you don't have to force it. Anyway, that's a lot of words to say. Just export your pool out of FreeNAS before you turn it off. And we'll do a please wait. And successfully disconnected tank. Beautiful. So now we don't have any pools as far as FreeNAS is concerned. But it's still on the disks. Let's switch over to uh, my other operating system. This could be a good time to back up any other configuration files you might need, whether it's out of your Samba Conf or whatever, um, where this is kind of just trying to show you how to move a pool, your mileage may vary, so reach out if you have some questions, if there's anything particular you want to back up and bring over. But again, we're not doing anything disruptive. All the core data is on the pool, so that'll be there. Um, so let's turn FreeNAS off. So I'm going to turn this off. We're going to boot back into Ubuntu. So um, yeah. She's shutting down. Um, we'll be back in when uh, Ubuntu's booted. Okay, so I booted into my other drive and now you can see we're sitting at the Houston login screen. So I'm gonna log in there. And uh, I have a service that failed. Let's just see what that is. This has really got nothing to do with the video, but uh, oh yeah, Z import cache. Of course that didn't work. Cause it's, it was unaware of the pool that was in there. We have to do the import the first time manually. Actually turning that off is the wrong thing. I'm going to turn this back on. It's going to fail again. I'm just going to clear it for now. Okay. I'm kind of a new shiny kind of guy. If there was an indicator that shows up, I'm going to click on it. 
Uh, okay, so our first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our storage pool. So we just click import storage pool. This is going to spin for a while. That, that's normal. Seems to be whenever it goes to grab a free NAS pool, it takes a bit. So um, we'll hop back when this, uh, when this finishes spinning. But it is normal that it sits there for a minute or two. Okay, so it finished spinning. So again, uh, that is normal coming from FreeNAS that it spins out for a good two minutes or so. But it will eventually find tank or whatever you called your pool and it will find your FreeNAS boot drive. Don't worry about your FreeNAS boot drive. We're gonna leave that alone. Actually, I recommend just kind of keeping that if you can, just unplugging the system and holding on to it. Um, I'm a bit of a hoarder of things, but like eh, it's always nice to be able to revert back should, I don't know, something, I don't know, just it's nice to have the choice, right? Uh, it's nice to have the choice. Cool, tank selected. Um, we're not gonna rename the pool. You'd have the ability if you need to, say example, like, I don't know, there's already a pool called tank here for whatever reason, you might need to change the name. Uh, alternate route, you wanna mount it somewhere else, maybe you wanna do slash mount instead of just the default. In this case, we're just gonna leave it in the default. The key is that you leave dev device alias selected here. Um, that means this will come in with the, with the nice aliases that uh, allow our 45 drives disks module to work and you can clearly see where all the disks are and everything like that. So that is selected by default, um, but again, never hurts to double check. Uh, I'm gonna uncheck that because I'm not doing Samba right now. And uh, we're gonna mount the file systems, leave that, um, leave that checked. So that'll mount any sub uh, data set. So import the pool, boom. Um, it says the Sama share is successfully enabled, but like it seems to just do that no matter what. So, uh, so here I'm going to list all my file systems, and immediately you're going to be like, "Whoa, there's a lot more data sets than I thought there were," because a couple of them are hidden ones. There are these dot system ones that come with FreeNAS. Uh, FreeNAS creates these when it makes your 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 uh, zpool. In our case, we're not using FreeNAS anymore, so these can go away. So I'm going to delete the top level one here. As you can see, this is dot system and all the other ones are beneath it. Um, I don't need these. If for every reason that you wanna go get something out of SOM before, some go do it, but, um, or you can leave them if you want, but eh, I'm gonna get rid of them because we do not need them anymore because we've left the free NAS world. So I'm gonna delete the top level one, forcefully unmount file system. No, I want to destroy all the child file systems and snapshots because like I said, there's child file or data sets and here they all are. So we're gonna get it all in one shot here. We're just gonna hit destroy. Those are gonna be gone. Now this is looking a little more like it looked on the free NAS side. Great. Uh, let's take a look at snapshots. Okay, all our snapshots are there. That's awesome. Um, Okay, so there's our data set. So our pool has been imported. You might notice there's a little yellow marker up here that says there's an upgrade available. So when you do come from uh, from FreeNASs, remember FreeNAS is BSD. So the ZFS in BSD is uh, different than open ZFS in, in ZFS on Linux. Eh, all I gotta say there is BSD ZFS is slightly different than Linux is ZFS on Linux. So when you switch over, you can upgrade to a newer version of the Z pool and you get a couple extra features. Uh, so let's do that now. So we're gonna go to status, and in status, at the top level tank, or the top level of the Z pool, we're gonna click our dot, 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 our option button, and we're going to hit upgrade storage pool. Um, so once we do this upgrade, you can't put this back into FreeNAS. So I guess remember I was saying, hold on to your FreeNAS. That'd be nice for maybe config options or seeing, but uh, once we do this upgrade, you cannot import this pool back into FreeNAS. So just be aware of that. Uh, so we're just gonna hit upgrade right now, and this does not take long at all, and she's updated. So with the so our pool's in. So we've we've done the the key part of our move here. Our data is now in our new file system, and everything's safe and secure. So let's enable our snapshot and replication policy to match our old one. So we can infer what that is by looking at our snapshots. Uh, there is um, a two week uh, lifetime. So let's make a auto snapshot a task that has a lifetime of two weeks and send that off to another system I have. So um, I'm gonna run that command re real quick, set that service up and press go. But where we've already covered this in the other video, um, we're gonna do that off screen. So 
All right, so uh, I just threw this command out um, off screen there, but just a quick review. We did look at this in the other video. If you want a quick detail of everything of how Zapsend works, I'd recommend you watch that. Long story short, we're doing a two-week retention period. We're still snapping every five minutes. That's excessive, I know, but we're doing it anyway. Um, we're going to back up tank main, which is exactly the tank that we've just imported from FreeNAS into this Ubuntu system. We're sending it to the destination. We're there. It's going to also snap every five minutes and keep for two weeks. Um, and that's my remote system there. And it's called tank and backup. And that's where it's going. So I'm going to press enter here. And then it's telling me that tank backup doesn't exist on the other end, which is one of the Zapsent's cool features. So let's go find out why that's not there. Because I don't have a file system called bank backup. Look at that. So I'm going to do that really quickly. There, that's there now. So we're not going to save this one. And I'm going to run this again. Now it didn't warn me this time. Good, because it's there. So that's another little uh, uh, nice thing about Snapsend tells you if you're, uh, if you're doing something crazy or not. So we're going to save that one. We're going to go to services like we did before. Spells that right. And we're going to turn it on. So now we're snapping at the same frequency and lifetime as we were on FreeNAS, and we're sending it to, uh, to a backup location. So um, at this point, you're kind of moved over. You want to turn Samba back on, enable your Samba share. You've got additional options maybe you defined in your other Samba shares that you noted when you moved over. You can put them in there, like let's say valid users equals root. It's a little ridiculous, but I just want to pick something that's going to work right now. So the Samba share will come on, and if you're doing NFS, same thing. Let's turn on NFS. But now at this point, you are moved from your FreeNAS system to your Houston system, and all your data is still there. And you're still snapping at the same time, and you're still sending it somewhere else. So. With that, I think we'll wrap this one up. All right, so that was uh, the wrap up of our little three part series there, our how to do monitoring, how to do snapshot and replication, and then just kind of tied it all together, moving from one free NAS system to uh, Ubuntu Houston system. Um, we hope you enjoyed that one. As always, uh, let us know what more you want to see, what's next, what you liked, what you didn't like. I don't care, let us know. So um, with that said, I'll leave you be. Catch you guys next week, whether it's me or another one of my colleagues. Uh, See you next week.